of rational functions. Recall that rational functions are functions of the form p of x over q of x. Of course, where q of x is not equal to 0. And p of x, q of x are polynomial functions. So, we categorize limit of rational functions into two. The first case, which I call case one, is a case where the value a is finite. You know, we say x tends to a, where the value a is finite. For example, very quickly, we wish to evaluate the limit as x tends to 1 of the function 3x plus 2 divide by 2 minus x. So we say x tends to a. Our a here is 1. So 1 is finite. So this is the first case where x tends to a particular number here is 1. So the first we want to check is is 1 is this function defined at the point x equal to 1? By that we mean if we substitute the point 1 into this function, do we get a term which is indeterminate? A term like 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, and the likes. So since, so we now substitute the value 1. And we're going to have 3 into 1 plus 2 over 2 minus 1. This gives us 3 plus 2 over 1, which is equal to what? So for this rational function, rational in the sense that it's a fraction and the numerator is a polynomial as well as what the denominator. So as x goes very, very close to 1, the function 3x plus 2 divided by 2 minus x goes very, very close to what? 5. So we said the limit of this function exists and the limit is 5. Let's take another example. We want to evaluate the limit as x tends to say 2 of the function x squared minus 4 divided by x minus 2. So if you put the value again 2 into the function, what do we get? We get 2 squared minus 4 divided by 2 minus 2. And this gives us 4 minus 4 divided by 0. And that gives us 0 over 0. And of course, this value is not equal to 0. This is what we call an indeterminate term. 0 over 0 has no, no, no definite value. So when we put in a value x equal to 2 into this function, we got this. So this means that the function x squared minus 4 divided by x minus 2 is not defined at x equal to 2. So what we attempt to do is, is factorize. You factorize when some sort of case comes up during limit you have to factorize so we say okay limit as x tends to 2 I can write this numerator as a difference of 2 squares x squared minus 2 squared because 2 squared is the same as 4 divided by x minus 2 this is equal to the limit as x tends to 2 of x minus 2, x plus 2, the difference of two squares. So this gives us x minus 2 and x plus 2, divide by x minus 2. Now, these two terms will cancel off. And what do I have left? And we have limit as x tends to 2 of x plus 2. A polynomial. At this point, we now substitute the value of 2 into the function and we have 2 plus 2 equal to 4. So the limit as x tends to 2 of the function x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 is nothing but what? 4. We shall consider case 2. Case 2. 
And case two is a case where A is infinite. Where A is infinite. In the first case, A was finite. We say X, we say A tends to a number. For example, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. But here, A will be tending not to a number, but to infinity, or maybe sometimes negative infinity. So we say X tends to infinity, or we say X tends to negative what? Infinity. In which case, A is no longer finite. So, if we are faced with such a situation, direct substitution will always lead to an indeterminate quantity, 0 over 0, sometimes infinity over infinity, etc. So where A is infinite, the method we just described in case 1 doesn't work. So what do you do? Let's explain with an example. Once we evaluate the limit, as x tends to infinity of a function 2x plus 5 divided by 3x plus 2. So we are saying that in this case, the method of direct substitution like we did before doesn't work out here. So what do we do? We watch out or we check out for the powers of x present in the function. There's x here with the power of 1. There is x here also with the power of 1. So the highest power of x present in this function is just 1. So what do we do? We divide every term, or we divide each term in the numerator by the highest power of x present in the function. In this case, the highest power is x. So we're going to write this now as the limit as x tends to infinity of 2x, this term, you divide that term by x, by the highest power of x present in your, in your function, plus 5 over x. You do the same to the, to the denominator, 3x over x, plus 2 over x. Now this gives us the limit as x tends to infinity of x will cancel x and you have just 2 left plus 5 over x divide by 3 plus 2 over x at this point we substitute the value or substitute infinity into the function and this gives us 2 plus 5 over infinity divide by 3 plus 2 over infinity Let's take a closer look at these two terms. Now, imagine infinity being a very large number. Of course, infinity is large. Let's assume infinity is a number like 1 million. So, if we divide 5 by 1 million, that would be a number 0 0.000000, I think 00, whatever. So, the point I'm going to make is that when you divide 5, a number, by infinity, the value you are going to have will be so small that it is almost zero. Same thing happens here. When you do 2 divided by infinity, this also will tend to zero. So if that happens, it therefore means that what we have left is 2 plus this will tend to zero over 3 plus this term will also tend to zero. And you now have 2 over 3. And that will be our limit. So we're saying that as x tends to infinity, the function 2x plus 5 divided by 3x plus 2 will tend to the value 2 over 3. Please try to take note of what happens at this point. 5, a number divided by infinity, will always tend to 0. Because you look at infinity as a very large number, such that when 5 divides it, the value is almost is just too small and it's, near, it's just 0. We take a second example. Limit as x tends to negative infinity of 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 divided by x cubed plus x squared plus 2x minus 3. So in this case again, our a is infinite. Is it x tends to a? 
the value here this is not a value this is just infinity so the method we had described earlier in case one also does not hold here so we look out for the highest power of x present let us check the power of x here is 2 the power of x here is 1 the power of x here is 3 the power of x here is 2 and the power of x here is 1 obviously the highest power of x we find here in this in this problem is x to the power 3 so like we did before we divide each term of this function by x to the power what, 3 as follows the limit as x tends to negative infinity of the first one is 2x squared we divide by x cubed minus 3x divide again by x cubed plus 1 divide again by x cubed divided by the denominator x cubed divided by x cubed plus x squared divided by x cubed plus 2x divided by x cubed minus 3 divided by x cubed after doing this this will simplify to limit as x tends to negative infinity of there are two of x here and there are three here so we need to cancel out two over x is what is left minus one x here and there are three of them here three over x squared plus one over x cubed divide by for the denominator we have this will be one plus there are two x here and there are three of them what is left there is just is one over x rather one over x is left there plus two over x squared minus three over x cubed so at this point we now substitute the value negative infinity into the function like i explained earlier we will have here as negative infinity here as negative infinity and here too likewise this point we are explained already that those terms will turn to zero so if we apply that it now, be, it now means that we have this term will turn to zero minus this term will turn to zero plus this other term will turn to zero all over this is one plus this term will turn to zero plus this term tends to zero minus this term also tends to zero and we have for the numerator zero minus zero plus zero is zero over one plus zero plus zero minus zero is one zero divided by one is what is zero so we say that the limit of this function as x tends to negative infinity is zero if you've liked this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this youtube channel bye